Let's do a top 40 extra. Got a bunch of these on my fancy playlist. I'm going to have to do several of these top 40 extras on my fancy playlist. I got so many of them I'd like to share with you. And one of them is Alice in Chains, one of the grunge bands of the 90s. Uh, I stay away. Although this song was a little bit more laid back than some of their earlier recordings. The first grunge record I heard was Alice in Chains, Man in the Box, back in the spring of 91. This was back when hair metal was receding. And this was this grunge music was darker. This this record, Man in the Box, was more menacing. It was darker. It was hard, but it had a great melody to it. The video had this showed this guy with his eyes sewed shut, just sewed, and it was just uh, I, I can't pronounce the word sewed. S e w n e d. It was a spooky video. It's like watching a horror video. <laughs> Friday the 13th, the grunge version of Friday the 13th, Alice in Chains, and then the Rooster. I remember the Rooster back in 1993. MTV played the heck out of that video. MTV, they showed the love for the Seattle bands when they were running videos late at night back in the early to mid-90s. So it is with Alice in Chains. I stay away. I love the bright guitar intro in this record. It's just, they seem to ease up a little bit on the hard stuff, on the hard rock, but they still maintain their edge, though, the uh, somewhat, I don't want to use the word angry, just edge, edgier. It's from the EP called Jar Flies, although you can find this uh, song on the Essential Alice in Chains CD, which came out back in 2006, which I assume would be the greatest hits by Alice in Chains, haunting vocal harmonies in this record. It's just a haunting song. And uh, they use string instruments on this on this record as well, which they haven't really done on some of their previous recordings. Stop motion animation implemented throughout this video, and the puppets in this video, you're not going to believe it. You can find the puppets in this video at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. That's where the puppets are at now. And who knows, maybe a hundred years from now, they might wind, their, wind up in the Smithsonian Smithsonian Institute. I mean, that would be something right there. Well, stranger things have happened. Uh, Jerry Cantrell, man, he's he's the, uh, I guess, the lead guitarist. You remember the song he came out with in 1998? If you're an alternative music fan from back in the 90s, you probably remember Cut You In back in 98. Now, that was a badass song right there. The X in Birmingham, which was 106.7, I believe, at the time. They were all over that song, Cut You In by Jerry Cantrell. And uh, they also, the video was played a little bit on Beavis and Butthead. You remember Beavis and Butthead? They'd sit down in front of the TV and they'd watch all these videos and they'd make all, they'd make cracks about them and all that. <laughs> Show off their butt cracks, too. <laughs> Couldn't resist that. <laughs> Getting grunge around here. The grunge attitude with Mr. DJ on this fancy playlist. Alice in Chains with I Stay Away. On my, uh, from my fantasy playlist of July 24th, 1994.